28th of November 2017. This is a winter white dwarf hamster, male nine months. Okay. This hamster came in about uh, how long was that? On the November the 6th, today is 28, right? So, how many days? Huh? <coughs> 22 days ago, huh? with the complaint of the lower body being very uh, inflamed. That time was hella slow, right? Correct. And due to leaking, and also there's a wart on the lower armpit, the right armpit. But now the wart is, has been excised, and the hamster was sent home. The body was clipboard or so, but uh, <coughs> some part has grown back the hair, some parts has, has not grown back. Now, now there is generalized inflammation now, the whole body is in inflamed, the uh, redness, the lower part. This condition is called ventral dermatitis. Normally it's due to contact, contact with the lower floor. Uh, that is the main cause of it. Now, we see the hamster has been uh, kept in this container. This pen. Now, luckily the owner brought it here so I can see <coughs> that actually basically Although she changed the paper two times a day, right? But you can see that the whole floor is actually damp. Is the hamster is actually sleeping on the damp uh, the bed? It's like a bed, bedding, uh, damp bedding. Now one reason could be this leaking of the of the water bottle. So whenever the hamster drinks, the the water bottle leaks. Although I don't see any leaking now, and uh, you can see that this, this this space is quite small, so the hamster does not have does not have a, a dry area to go because it's so small. So this problem will get worse and worse, and that's why now uh, the hamster is, is uh, has not recovered. So contact dermatitis is quite contact means contact on the floor, ventral dermatitis and can cause the skin to become wet and then after that itchy so you can see the hamster licking it. So so now what is the solution? The solution of course is to to uh, put the hamster on those bedding uh, some of those bedding where they can absorb the 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 water or the urine. Now this type of bedding, some, some of them could be like cat litter, those palleted ones quite quite high up, maybe two inches high. And uh, that one will absorb most of the the, the water leaking. But how about the other hamster? The water leaks or not? No. Why? It didn't leak? That one's a bigger bottle. Okay, so 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 it's not exactly the same, the sibling is okay. So and, and also the same bedding? Same. Oh, no, I give him the palette. Ah, so she, she gave the pellet, which uh, probably is very absorbent, right? It absorbs, right? The, those grey colours. Ah, but it absorbs. Yeah, it absorbs. And, 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 and so, so the, that, that, that is the reason. And also the hamster didn't have any more problem on the lower body. So, so of course then uh, that there's hair to protect the, the lower body. So now I will get the hamster shape board and check again that there's bacteria and whether there's fungal infection or not. The skin is scaly and uh, so the owner has to change the, the from this small tank to a much bigger one. Of course, now we know, we know what's the problem is this most of the, this water bottle causing the, the leaking. Eh? Now this hamster loves to eat. You can see that the seeds are, you can see the pellets so you can see the, the stools are there. So this shows that the hamster is is still eating, so appetite is still there. But it lost 9 grams uh, in the last 22 days. It's still eating, but uh, mostly sunflower seeds. So there's good news, it's eating. But the itch is, is uh, bothering him. So we, we will not uh, advise any more of this uh, type of uh, water bottle with, uh, with, the, with the den underneath because sometimes the whole area could be wet. Okay, so now today I'm going to 
and, and it is size and then clean up shape board because certain parts of the body the hamster is biting you see the whole coat area is also black black is normally due to the hamster biting and licking it due to itchiness now this hamster is a male it's a male but he lives alone so there is no uh, no reason for this to be bored as you can see this part is normally due to biting by the other hamster I mean if they live together but now they don't live together this is also a male you see the stool is okay normal there is no wet tail so this type of cases is very uh, hard to treat unless the owner has to uh, give those absorbent litter but at the moment you can't because it's, it's, it might be irritating to the the, the bare skin there you can see the bare skin there the redness so I will do the shaving cleaning and uh, let it recover about maybe 3 to 7 days you know. then after that this this one is another problem the hamster climbs into it it climbs into it right it climbs into it to eat right mm. so sometimes the whole body you can see the body gets irritated by all these seeds but most owners they have these containers actually it's okay if the hamster is not uh, having skin problems but you can see you see the contact uh, contact so I would advise that the owner may have a flat small one and then okay. hamster cannot climb in uh, cannot climb into it so these are the two things the licking she will get a better water bottle and and and, uh, and uh, of course this this uh, feed bowl is not, not suitable so these are the two things and of course the litter litter will not be paper anymore uh, after the body is uh, not inflamed it might take about three weeks you know. this will only about three weeks no I mean the recovery okay. no, you know, I think about one week will do we bring on the inflammation check for fungus uh. Fungus, we wash with anti fungal wash, and uh, that's about three to seven days. Okay, really? finish. Yeah.